I'm just going to demonstrate how to do a valve adjustment. It's 11 millimeter. We're going to loosen that. When we do this side over here, you actually have the AC compressor in the way. You don't have to disconnect any of these hoses. Don't do any of that. So you got two bolts right here, and then in the back, you've got uh, two bolts there. Hey, boy, you get away from that. You're going to make yourself sick. So we got one side. Uh, opened up. Uh, Drew had a question about the AC side. Do we need to disconnect anything? Only thing we need to disconnect is the wire that goes to uh, our voltage. There you go. And then uh, once again, we got the four bolts. So Drew's going to take those out. Uh, that works. Okay. So you see, we've got it laying out of the way. And we didn't count how many we took out. We're just lazy. When you put them in, you're going to need a torque wrench. You're going to want to torque them to 11 pounds each bolt. Alright, it should come right off. Oh, we got another thing. We got a ground connected right there. So your car may or may not have that ground, but we do. Getting worried for a second, too. Alright, and that's it. And, yeah. Put the car into fifth gear with the ignition turned off, and we're going to push it to the top dead center. Is what we're going to do. If you look on our uh, look on our pulley right here, there's a mark right there, and there's a mark on the pulley. So we're going to put the vehicle into fifth gear. We're going to push it until that lines up. All right. If we done if we've done that correctly, that's the correct position that's going to be top dead center for us. And the way that we can determine it, uh, we have this little feeler gauge is what we have. What we're going to do is we're going to put the vehicle in fifth gear, push it until those marks line up. And if we've done correctly, if we've done it correctly, then uh, cylinder number one will actually be able to push this through the valves. That'll be open on both sides, the intake and the exhaust side of the valve. I'll show you that in a moment. Position number five, uh, cylinder number five, this won't go through on either side. It's going to be called on the rock. So we put the vehicle in fifth gear, we pushed it, we pulled it. Uh, you have our test to make sure we're in top dead center is going to be on cylinders one and cylinders five. So what we do, uh, cylinder one should be open on both the intake and the exhaust. This is cylinder one right here, and these are the valves. You got this little screw right here, little nut. There should be a gap. That's open. That's your intake valve. Same on this back end over here. Get this in there. That's open. That's your intake valve. Now, what we'll do is we'll go to the other side of the engine. In position five, it should be what's called on the rock. That just means it's shut. So, this is position five. That's our intake valve and this right here is our exhaust valve so we put the same gauge in there and see if we can push it through we can't it's shut and same thing over here can't push it through it's shut so we'll do one adjustment on a valve on uh, film for you uh, what you need you need a screwdriver with number one on the number one open and uh, number five on the rock these are the valves that we can adjust. Some guy just showed up. We told him we have a Ford engine, so yeah. We can do uh, adjustments on inlet one, inlet two, and number four. And then we can make adjustments on exhaust one, exhaust three, and exhaust six. So inlet number one, it's got to be uh, uh, 0 0.10 millimeter. We're going to loosen the uh, nut that holds it, all right? So, all right, see how I loosened it? Got it loose. And then what we do is we use our feeler gauge. All right, I've got it set for 0 0.10 millimeter. I'm gonna put it in there. All right. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a screwdriver. And I don't wanna have very much play. I want it to be rubbing, but of course I gotta get the thing out of there. So, so I got my feeler gauge in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my wrench on here. I'm going to hold that screw and then I'm going to tighten this in place. Alright, so that's how you adjust the intake valve. 
Now, we can go through and do the exact same process, like I said, on numbers one, numbers two, intakes, number one, number two, and then over here on number four, over there on the intake. But we'll go ahead and do an exhaust one real quick. Exhaust in this position can be uh, number one, number three, and number six are the ones that we need to do. Uh, you need a different feeler gauge. You need uh, a .25 millimeter for exhaust. So I just said we can do exhaust number one. So we will do just that. We'll go ahead and loosen it with 13 millimeter. There it goes, hand loose. .25 millimeter, minus 2, .254 is what it says on it. All right, so we're gonna get it in there. We're gonna hold our screw in place. And we will tighten that nut. Okay, so that's it. That's how you do a valve adjustment. This should come out. Yep, comes out. Do all those others that I mentioned to you. You can do intake one, intake two, intake four. I'm repeating this a zillion times. Exhaust one, exhaust three, and exhaust six. All right, so what we're going to do is we want uh, number one to be on the rock. So I'm going to move the vehicle. Paying attention to timing mark. Actually, I'm going to push it. That might be easier. Shoot. Steve needs some help. Okay, so now what we did, we put the car in fifth gear. We turned it until that mark was an exact 360. And uh, now number one is on the rock. In this position with number one on the rock, we can adjust intakes three, five, and six. We'll use a smaller gauge. It's the same process. We would go to three. There should be enough gap to get this through there. Is that three? Yes, yeah, three, five. And it would be the same process, really. All you do is uh, you loosen it. And then you get your gauge in there, you get that screw tightened, and then uh, you, you tighten the screw down where it needs to be. You hold it, and then you tighten it with the tighten the nut with your wrench. And that's really all there is to doing a valve adjustments. It's uh, it's pretty simple.